This is Harry Archer. He is the head of the house. As such, he has certain inalienable rights. I wanted to use the desk. Well, I'm sorry, dear, but I have to finish this letter. Uh, are you going to be long at the desk, Corliss? Oh, golly, yes, Daddy. I've just got to get this homework done. Well, I just wanted to make out a check for Benson's. If I don't get it in the mail today, why, well, we can't charge any clothes this month. Daddy, <laughs> you can use this desk. <laughs> yes, a man has certain inalienable rights, and one of them is to pay the bills. the dishes, folks. Break the dishes for a quarter. It's fun, folks. Try it. you love it. It's fascinating. It's fun. It's destructive. Hey, Corliss. Uh, this is a real good one. You'll love it. You want to try it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, sure you do. Go ahead. There you are, mister. No? Go, go ahead. Throw one. You'll love it. It's really, it's really fun. Yeah, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, you're holding it wrong, Corliss. You see... You hold the ball like this, like a pitcher, and then you wind up, and you throw it like this. See what I mean? <laughs> I see. Uh, Corliss. Uh, Corliss, there's something I want to tell you, but I haven't got the heart to tell you. But I think I'd better tell you, if I can get up enough nerve to tell you. <laughs> Go ahead, throw a ball, it's fun. Oh, what is it you wanted to tell me? Well, you're holding it wrong again, Corliss. You see, you hold it like this, and you throw it. Like that. Well, Corliss, this is the last spending date we're going to be able to go on for a month. I mean, go ahead. Throw a ball. It's fine. You'll love it. No more spending dates. Why? Well, you see, the, all the guys in my class got together, and we decided to donate next month's allowance to charity. One month, four weeks, and three whole days. Break a dish, it's fun. Oh, that's wonderful, Dexter. And, and we don't really need to spend any money. We can watch television, and listen to the radio, and take long walks. Oh, gosh, Corliss, I, I, I know I'm handsome and desirable, but you're too good for me. Go ahead, break a dish, it's fun. We won't really miss out on very much. Uh, you've got the tickets to the big dance. And, oh, that'll make up for everything else. Well, I got the tickets, Corliss, but I didn't pay for them. But throw a ball, it's fun. <laughs> and I bought a new dress. It's an off-the-shoulder. Well, you can still wear it, Corliss, sure. On that night, we'll take one of those long walks and stand outside and listen to the music. <laughs> you love it? Well, guess if it's for charity, I'll just have to forget it. Oh, Corliss, you're wonderful. You're, you're magnificent. You're, you're super. Go ahead, break a dish. It's fun. I'm holding it wrong again. See, like I told us before, like a pitcher. You see? Like he's going to throw it right here and then like that. <laughs> see? Oh, there you go. There we are. <laughs> I told you it was fun. You loved it, didn't you? Hey, there's the game over there. You'll be crazy about this one. <laughs> Corliss never did get into that game. She would have gotten more action playing tiddlywinks with an antiquated, anemic amoeba. <laughs> Janet, let me help you. I can manage this. No, 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 it's too heavy. Let me take it. But then... Now, let me have it. Shouldn't carry anything that heavy. All right. Yeah, that's better now. Where do you want it? Right there. <laughs> in here anyway. Curtains. The ones Dexter spilled the milk all over. Oh. I'm having the drapery man hang them tomorrow. Oh, I can hang them. They have to be hung on a travis rod. It's pretty complicated. Well, for you perhaps. Not for me. What are you doing, Daddy? Well, putting up curtains. You know, it's very simple. There's no point in paying you to have it done. 
Well, it looks like a ballet skirt for an elephant. <laughs> Let me help you, Daddy. Yeah, you take that one. I might as well have something to occupy my time. After all, the next 29 and a half days, six hours and 20 minutes are going to be monotonous and dull. Just staying home with my parents. Oh, present company accepted, of course. Huh? Thanks very much, I think. <laughs> oh, Mom. A whole month without dates. It's going to be torture. If Dexter's willing to give up his good times, I think you can give up yours, too. Hmm? <sighs> now. Now. Whoa! Oh! oh. <laughs> no. And don't bring up the drapery man. No, I'll get this. Golly, Mom, I sure didn't want to miss that big dance. Now Dexter can't even buy the tickets. Well, why don't you buy them? Me? Yeah, why not? Uh, uh, Janet, will you pull that cord and let me see how this thing works? Oh! Oh! Hold it, hold it. <laughs> Harry, Cordis couldn't possibly do that. It's the boy who takes the girl out. Well, why can't the girl take the boy out? Because it's the boy who takes the girl out. For centuries, women have been screaming for equality. They've got, they've got the vote, they've got equal pay with men, they even drive trucks. Why can't they pay for a few dates? I think maybe Daddy's right. Now you're showing some real female independence. Cornish, I would consider this thing very oh, careful. Mom, it's a stupendous idea. Oh, Daddy, you're hmm? a genius. <laughs> Well, uh, the, the, the whole hullabaloo of who takes out whom is, is an artificial convention. You're absolutely right. I'm not only going to take Dexter to the junior dance, but I'm going to foot the bills for a whole month. Hmm? No, sure, why not? Wait a minute, Corliss. Outside of other possible repercussions, putting the bills for a whole month might be quite expensive. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure Daddy can afford it. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. What's complicated about hanging a curtain? Now, uh, would you pull that just once more, will you? Do? <laughs> what poor Mr. Archer may be driven to next is a hanging offense. He's hanging on grimly. But no matter how much he hangs around the house, he'll be hanged if he can get the hang of hanging those curtains. <laughs> Terrific news. I already got the news. I'm putting everything in dry dock for a month. My perfume, my lipstick, my mad money. You know, there's more of me inside that drawer than there is outside. <laughs> well, don't put your good dress in there. We're going out tonight. With you, I can wear Levi's. <laughs> Corliss, we're not going out for a month. Barbara, listen to me. This afternoon, I was talking to my father and mother, and my father gave me the most tremendous idea. We're taking them out. Aw, oh, I don't want to take your father and mother out. <laughs> no, I mean we're taking Morton and Dexter out. Us? Take them? As long as they haven't got the money, we'll treat. It's female equality. Female e equality? Oh, no. I wouldn't do such a thing. I wouldn't lower myself. It's unself-respecting. It's undignified. It's no way for a lady to act. Hey, Barton! And now, back to meet Corliss Archer. Trouble. Well, I'll fix it, Janet. It's just a question of getting the cords connected right now. I'll, oh, I'll show you. Don't call the glass man. I have glass in the garage and I can fix it. Then I'd better call the drapery man. No, don't call the drapery man. 
I, I'm pretty sure I know what I did wrong. Uh, you know, I think I pulled the wrong cord. I'll show you. You see, I pulled this cord, but I should have pulled this one. <laughs> well, I guess it should have been this one. <laughs> Your plan was absolutely it. Barbara and I paid for everything, and, oh, we had a dreamy time. Well, now there's equality working for you. Well, at first, Dexter was a little embarrassed about my paying for everything. I should imagine he was. But then after we went to the drugstore and, and to the hamburger palace, well, he went along with the idea, and, and he started ordering things like, like... Like a pig. <laughs> no, like a good sport. I'll get it. Thank you spread the germ, Corliss. Oh, what if Dexter caught it? Well? Well, I think I have the answer to why I couldn't hang the curtain. You see, you have to hang the curtain on every other hook. Is it my fault that Morton is such a flippity jibber? Barbara's better off without him. I knew there'd be repercussions. Harry, I'm afraid this idea of yours is going to snowball into an avalanche. Now, wait a minute, Janet. I still think there's absolutely nothing... <laughs> hi, Dex. Oh, hi, Corliss. Where'd you get the candy? Present. It's a lovely box. Oh, this is one of the small ones. And they keep on coming, too. They're terrorizing me. The phone calls just don't stop. From the girls at school? Yeah. You know, I never realized how male females are. They just won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Get a load of this. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue. My name is Clara. Call Maine, 5612. I know all the attention is turning your head, Dexter. No, of course not, Corliss. I'm strictly a one-woman man. And you're my woman, woman. <laughs> You're so sweet. Yeah. Yep, yeah, have a piece. Are you eating the candy they're sending you? Sure, it's good. Go ahead, take some. You're actually eating it and enjoying it? Why not? Dexter Franklin, you speak of your great love for me, and yet you can eat that candy. What has love got to do with my tapeworm? <laughs> that candy was sent to you by another woman. she can buy your affection with a measly box of candy. Now, wait a minute. Nobody can buy my measly affection. <laughs> because it's good. Good? That candy is chocolate-covered poison, intended to kill our romance. The very fact that you consider eating candy from another woman is a denunciation of our love. You're just a denouncer. Holy cow, I never even... First, you'll eat the candy. Then you'll call her up to thank her. You'll make a date. You'll take her to the movies. You'll hold hands. You'll start going steady. You'll get married. You'll have children. Have a holy Dexter cow, I've got... Franklin, it... I refuse to have anything to do with a married man with children. <laughs> Daddy! 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 Uh, 
all your fault, Daddy. Women were getting along fine until you started interfering with them. <laughs> then, Corliss, what happened? It's Dexter. He's nothing but a male Cleopatra. Are you calling him, too? Calling him? They're throwing themselves at him. With telephone calls, flattery, presents, and he's enjoying it. Oh, it's terrible. Now, Corliss, he isn't going out with any of them, is he? No, but he's thinking about it. I'm sure he is. You know what men are. What are they? Beasts. <laughs> you think I've given him the best years of my life. Oh, I'm ruined. Well? Corliss, I know how you can make up with Dexter. Send him a nice big box of candy. <laughs> Mr. Archer sure is trying hard to invent a new system for catching a man. If Corliss keeps listening to him, she'll have the unique distinction of being a confirmed old maid before she's out of her teens. <laughs> Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Have a good day. Fine, fine. There were quite a few phone calls for you today. Ed Bellows wants to talk to you. And Chuck Williams and Roy and Jerry called and Mrs. Edwards and Mrs. Barrow. Yeah, I'm getting pretty popular. I don't think those calls were an indication of your popularity. What do you mean? Three things. First, all of those people have daughters. Second, None of those people like the way their daughters have suddenly started to act. And third, they say it's all your fault. Well, now listen, Janet, I... <laughs> I better get back to my... <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, there's a very interesting editorial in the paper this evening. Oh, now, don't change the subject. Here. Oh, I don't think I'm changing the subject. The editorial is entitled, Boy Rush. Pandemonium reigns at the local high school. Screams of independence fill the air. Once demure maidens are wildly asserting their alleged right, and instead of waiting for the boys to call them, they're calling the boys for dates. No, no, that's enough, dear. Wait. The best part is just coming. We think this latest juvenile craze is outrageous. It's an insult to all the principles of proper behavior which decent society recognizes. I don't want to hear any more. Whoever wrote that is an antiquated fuddy-duddy. Daddy, hmm? may I have another ten dollars, please? What for? To take Dexter out. I thought you said you were never going to see Dexter again as long as you lived. I'm not. He's a beast. I refuse ever to even so much as speak to him again. After the 12th of next month, of course. <laughs> That's English. Must mean something. Corliss, would you care to translate? It's very simple, Daddy. I'm not going to let anybody steal Dexter away from me. No, sir. Not if it takes every penny you've got. <laughs> well, what has this got to do with the 12th of next month? That's when Dexter starts getting to keep his allowance again. Oh, and then Dexter take, take her out. Oh, no, he won't. I'm going to prove that I can keep Dexter away from those she-wolves. After that, I'm through with him for as long as we both shall live. Can I have the money now, please, Daddy? Mm -hmm. I'll pay you back out of my first check from the hospital. What hospital? Well, now that you know how despicable men are, Daddy, you don't expect me to have anything to do with them, do you? Oh, now look, I... So, I'm going to become a nurse in the women's ward. <laughs> um... Would you answer it, dear? <laughs> oh, no. Well, thank you. Goodbye. Who was it? The president of the PTA. Oh, no. They're having an emergency meeting this evening. 
to combat this, uh, I think she called it this latest manifestation of juvenile delinquency. <laughs> Harry, do you think your idea may have been a mistake? No, no, I, I was right. Uh, uh, there's a principle involved, and, and, and I'm going to fight it through. Uh, I, all right, it's costing me money, and the whole town's upset, and I haven't got a friend for miles around. And... Janet! Yes, dear? Help. <laughs> like most marriages, the Archer's marriage is an equal partnership, with each doing half the work. He gets into the trouble, and she gets him out. Ready, Dex? Hey, can I use your mirror? Use that part. <laughs> what a time I've been having. What a time. What a time. Wow, what a time. You been having a good time? I've been having a good time. Have I been having a good time? Have I been having a good time? Let me tell you. You told me, you told me. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. All right, tell me. This girl calls me up. Yeah, yeah, what girl? I'm trying to tell you. So tell me. This girl calls me up. Again? No, just once. <laughs> I didn't even know her, but she had a nice voice. So I figured, what can I lose? Good question. So I let her call for me. She came over. Cute. Blonde. We get her a car. A brand new convertible. A beauty. And she took me out to dinner. And then, we danced. And we danced. And we danced. Ah, oh, what a dance. Move. And then, get this. Right in the middle of the dance floor, guess what? What? She kissed me. Wow. I don't believe in playing around. Corliss is all I want. I got the best. You can have the rest. We better get downstairs. After all, Cor Corliss and Barbara are waiting. Let them wait. Boy, have you ever changed? I never before realized how fascinating I am. <laughs> well, we better get downstairs. I mean, the girls are taking us to the Golden Pheasant tonight for dinner, and it's going to cost them a pile of dough. Well, okay. I'm getting sort of hungry. Hey, Morton, did she really kiss you right on the dance floor? Oh, I'll say. Like this. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so hungry I could eat a... Hi, Dexter. Holy cow, Corliss. You can't go to the Golden Pheasant dress like that. No. Well, well this is a very high-class joint. Even the panties and the lamb chops are made out of imported mohair. And from the tenderest part of the mo. <laughs> There's been no change in plans, Dexter. We haven't got any money. Well, let's see. Who I favor with my charms tonight? Elma? Irene? Gwen? Nobody. Huh? None of the girls have any money. The girls treating the boys is all over. On the level? Yes. <laughs> Mom saw the whole problem at the PTA meeting, and then all the girls at school voted on it. Voted on what? To give our allowance to charity for a whole month. Then we're all bankrupt. We can always hike up to Inspiration Point. Hey, that's a great idea. I'm wearing my dancing shoes. They're no good for hiking. That's all right, Morty. If you get tired, I'll carry you the rest of the way. If you take me back, I, I promise I'll never look at another woman again. Well, I'll take you back on one condition. Oh, anything. You just, you just name it. Corliss, I can't live without you. If you believe me, I'll even kill myself. Well, will you buy the tickets and take me to the big dance next week? Oh, Corliss, you know I can't do that. I don't have any money. I... But, uh, but, but I'll do it, Corliss. I'll do it. I promise. Love will find a way. <laughs> Janet! 
Yes, dear? Come look at the curtain now. Does it work? Perfectly. Watch. 